been called a love song to America. We just call it carrying the torch. Take it away there, Wichita. Did I hear you say you wished that you could leave her? Has some foolish disagreement made you blind? If you traveled around this world, you wouldn't find another girl could hold a candle to the gal you left behind. And boy, she's carrying the torch for you. Those silent tears may fall, you'd never know. But on the day that you discover how much you really love her, you'll find her love has never lost its glow. She believed you when you pledged her your devotion. Then she watched you as you walked right out the door. After all that she's been through, tonight she still believes in you. As she stands there all alone upon the shore. And boy, she's carrying the torch for you. Though her heart may break, you'd never know. But on the day that you discover how much you really love her, find her love has never lost its glow. You know, I still remember the first time I ever saw her. You see, I was coming home from overseas, and well, she was just standing there as the old ship was coming in. Well, she really stood out from the crowd, I can tell you that. And the golden light of dawn was gleaming in her eyes. Well, there's some folks that call her proud. There's some folks that call her wild. And there's some folks that even go so far as to call her free. And then there's some, why they just call her the Statue of Liberty. And boy, she's carrying the torch for you. Thank you. And I love that shine, so I always love to see you. Thank you very much. When you decide to carry your dad and me. Thanks. She wants you just to know you're always free. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. I'd like to introduce these boogers to you right now. These boys is favorites everywhere they go. Was on my far left wing over here, snorting and farting on the Texas walking base this evening. And here he is, Sky Cap Adam. <laughs> Directly behind me is the boy on the drums this evening. Originally, he comes from sperm whales. Then he, um, he moved down to Nashville, Tennessee. That's Music City, USA, right after that now. He gives us that good old psycho hippodelic beat that we use so effectively now. Here he is, the major Buster B.B. Bowl. Yeah. This, uh, your Dixie area here, a little heavy right here, I think, all right? Uh, over on my far right wing now, excuse me, over next to old Buster on the drums there is a boy who's rather small, but he sure can haul the mail, I'll tell you that now. Plays some white man's watermelon on that damn fiddle now, and 
Like I say, when he plays that metallic, <laughs> well, there you be now. We don't want to get into our. Uh, area what does he now. say, Kinky? <laughs> I'll tell you. I can't tell you what it really does to me, but. Uh, well, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. I will tell him to his goddamn face. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Here he is, Wichita Thomas William Culpepper. <laughs> Over on my right wing is my boy, my boy from Houston, Texas now. Uh, he plays the keyboards, plays every damn keyboard known to man. This old boy collects matchbooks from different restaurants and uh, his hobbies have always been and still are guns and coins, which just gets a bit tedious in your hobby area, but uh, on the keyboards, I consider this old boy to be a goddamn Shostakovich. Thank you, Kinky. That's very kind You're of you. You're welcome, Jufrid. Here he is from the Bio City, Houston, Texas. Little Jufrid Shelby. Thank you very much. You're all very beautiful people. Insensitive, of course. All right. On my right wing is the newest acquisition to the group. I always am fond of telling about how I discovered this boy. He grew up with me many years ago in Houston, and many were the fond memories of our childhood together. Then I lost touch with him for about 15 years. <laughs> it was only about six months ago I was walking down La Cia Negra Boulevard in Los Angeles <laughs> one evening. There, silhouetted in, in the moonlight against the sky, I saw a boy playing a horn. He was very good on a saxophone, but he did not have any money at that time. He was so poor, as I'm fond of saying, that uh, he couldn't even afford a strap to hold up his saxophone. He just had a coat hanger around his neck to hold it up there. But, uh... All right, we're going into our third world area right now with a little favorite Indian booger I like to do right now. All right. <laughs> okay, you ready over there, Jeeford? You bet I am, Kinky. All right, very nice. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I gave the boy about eight St. Joseph's baby aspirin just before the show. Now, Coca-Cola seemed, seemed to have kicked in pretty well. 